I'm with Dua Koresh from the Dar Isaf Nasashibi for culture, art and literature. Now Dua, what is Dar Isaf Nasashibi? Dar Isaf Nasashibi is the first public library in East Jerusalem and it's open for public to use our books. We have many Arabic books that is rare. It's from Arabic families in Jerusalem. They donate it to us after their death. And also we, uh, all the books that we have, it's all catalogued and classified due to Dewey Decimal Number. So any family that uh, thought, wow, we've got all these books from the, from the past, from the old, and they didn't want them, they brought them here to, to give to you for the library? Yes, as, as you know, all the, the Palestinian and the Jerusalem family from Fawzi Youssef, Ishaq Musa al Husseini, they donated to us to take care of those books and to be used by the Jerusalem researchers and students to get used of it instead of keep those books in their houses. So they give it for, for public and also, you, you know, if you want to buy books, it's um, very expensive and they, they gave it to us to get used of it. When was the library started and why was it started? The library started before 10 years and it was closed for restoration. And Hind al Husseini, the founder of Dar al al Arabi for students, thought that she wanted to do a cultural center called Dar Sa'af Nashashibi for art and culture, so to be used as cultural centers for doing cultural events and also to use the library for students and to find a place to sit and read. Mm. So it's more than just a library, it's a whole cultural center. Yes, it's a whole cultural center for the Jerusalem people because, you know, we located in Sheikh Jarrah. This place is a critical place. So uh, people cannot go maybe to, to Ramallah or to Bethlehem for the due of the, um, the borders. So they can find a place to, to sit and, uh, and study in a good Arabic a place in Jerusalem. Now, who was Isaf al Shashibi? Isaf Nashashibi, he's, he's an Arab poet. He's called Isaf, Muhammad Isaf Nashashibi. He used to live here. Many events happened in this castle, in his castle. Many well-known poets and writers came here and do their, their poet nights here, like Shakib Arsalan. Many people, many famous people used to come, to come here. And also Muhammad Isaf Nashashibi is a well-known and he wrote many books in Arabic literature. So was this his family home? Uh, he, yes, he's, uh, he was living here is on his own, mm. and this is his own castle. He built it, and he lived here. Now, it's a beautiful, ornate building. Tell us a bit about the building. The building, if, if you see, it's uh, from three floors. The first floor, we, we do all the culture events in it. And if you can see, there is a ceramic, blue, blue ce- ceramic, covered the castle. And that's what would make it unique from if you come and see it from the, from the street. Mm. It's an old Arabic tradition house. Mm. That is my opinion. When was it built? It was built in 1930, I think. Wow. Yeah. Wow. What projects do you run here? Uh, we have many projects. The main project that we are focused on is the library. And we have many projects going through, like a cooperation with the Hill Museum in the, in the U.S. for photograph the manuscripts. That what make our library unique here in Dar Isaf Nashashibi, that we have a manuscript. A manuscript that books written by hand. Mm. And it's an old, old, old books. And do you link with the British Museum as well? Yes. But in not Dar Isaf Nashibi, it's the Dar Tifl al Arabi Museum. Yeah. Do you have many historical important books here and are they priceless? Yes, we have many old and the most books are old. We have books, low books, and old low books, what it's called the Dryton. It's the all the laws before the Uthman period and it's, uh, it's here. And also we have an old books in Arabic literature found here, written in Arabic. And it's an old and it's unique. Of course, things have changed with the history of Jerusalem. You've had the Ottoman Empire, the British Empire. Yeah. Now we have Israel here. So all of the culture has changed over the years. Yes, the culture has changed. But I have to say something, that after the war of the Israeli soldiers came into Dar Isaf Nashashibi and they took half the books. And now our books, it's, uh, it's found in the Hebrew 
a university library. Yeah. This is more. Uh, this is very important that they took um, some of our books and it's written with with our names there in the Hebrew University. How important is it to have these books here? It's very important to have these books and to take care of it and to to classify it and during to to deal with decimal number because if you if if we take care of those books, it save our history, our Palestinian history, and it talks about the our our Jerusalem family that they are well known and they are working or develop their cultures mm. and so our part here is to save our culture our books and our history how important is it to pass on the culture to the next generation we have to de- to tell the next generation that books is very important and we have an um, a million of arabs writer and arabic books that is treasure mm. so we have take of, of them and we we want what we want to to send as message to our children that books and also to study is the most important to face our future in this world. Uh, now for young people, everyone's on the internet, so is it important to have stuff digitally online as well? Yes, we have a digital online. You can search our uh, database online from your from house, and if you want to use the, some pages of the books, we can send it online. So, but also we, yani, even we have digital uh, books and papers is most important to have it in the library. Do you have authors visiting today? Yes, we have uh, visitors. We have students uh, from all over uh, the world, international and uh, and local. And also we have people and students from Birzeit University and Bethlehem University that come here and do their researches because they need a place because they are from Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. They want to do a research. And also I want to say that we have a voluntary work from Bethlehem University and Birzeit University. They came here, they support us with our work because working in the library is most important and we have to, they, they, when they, the volunteer work, they help us with, with this one. Do you have famous authors visiting you today? Yes, sure. We have um, many authors, many visitors, and also we have uh, many poets that comes and use this place for their events. Mm-hmm. Are many ancient books being lost today? The ancient books, it, we have many, but we have... As I told you, some of them, they are in, on the Hebrew University mm. shelves. And some books are all over the world. But we are, our main target is to collect all the old and unique books to, wow. and to have it in the, play, in the same place. That's quite a challenge. Yes, that's yeah. a good challenge. Yeah. Why do you do what you do? Because I believe that I'm, uh, I'm Palestinian and I choose to come to Jerusalem and work as a librarian to take care of our heritage due to books and, and literature and to, to spread the, the meaning of library in, uh, in, in Jerusalem and how you get used for this treasure in Jerusalem and to spread the, what, what does it mean, the library. The library is very important and it's, um, it's like a place that hosts all people from all the world. That's the yeah. main idea. It's nice to see the books on the shelf, but is it a challenge with the digital age? Do the young people come into the library today? You know that even though that, that it's, it's a big, big challenge, but as I said, even we have digital, but I think we used to come to the, the place, as you see, with such beautiful uh, uh, windows, old place. Y- and we need to sit in a place and, and study or read books. Mm. Yani, this won't, won't change. Mm. Because even I, I, I used to, to read on an iPad, something, it's not nice for us. It's not the same. Yeah, it's yeah. not the same. Yeah. It's different. When you read from a book, it's different. What's your hope for the future? I hope that people support the libraries. I hope that families tell their children about the importance of the library and, and about how important to read and how important to have a small library in each f- family. That's uh, the most important. And also to, to advise our children to go to libraries because if the family they took their children from their, their young to the public library, they will get used. So when they come uh, bigger, they can, it's, it's become normal to come and use the library. It's like the church, it's like the most, I, uh, and also the library, it's very important. And what's your website for people who'd like to know more? 
Uh, we have we have a website on um, we have a Facebook that is Afna Shashibi and also we have a page on Instagram that is Afna Shashibi for art and culture and also we are uh, have website uh, but it's under construction it will be after one month it will be on online and also if you you want to search on uh, Google uh, that is Afna Shashibi we have many many interviews many t- TV press you can know about about us okay do thank you very much thank you very much